when people think about Christmas, what do they mean? Christmas means different things for different people. I think perhaps the first thing that many, particularly children, often think about is presents. Um, I'm reminded of the words of Joey in Friends. It's a love based on giving and receiving as well as having and sharing. A love that they give and have is shared and received. And through this having and giving and sharing and receiving, we too share and love and have and receive. There's so many things to do with Christmas, about giving and sharing, about having and receiving. Hamley's in their top toys list for 2021 includes uh, Barbie Dreamhouse, Playmobil, Lego, the classics, as it were. I mean, who doesn't want Lego, right? But for us, Christmas is about the greatest present of all, God's gift to humanity. In John chapter 3 verse 16 we read, for this is how God loved the world. He gave his one and only son so that everyone who believes in him will not perish but have eternal life. The greatest gift of all is the baby lying in a manger, helpless, needing mom and dad's help with everything. We're told that wise men come from the east and they come with some presents for baby Jesus. Their gold, frankincense and myrrh. Gold is a symbol that he's a king, that he's the king of the whole world. Frankincense as an incense, you know, a smelly perfume as a symbol of being God. And myrrh, an oil used to mask bad smells as a a symbol that he would have to die. The message of the wise men then is that they know who this baby is. He's the God King who has come to set us free by dying and rising again. This is God's Christmas present to the whole world. Someone to set them free from the powers that tied them all up, from sin, from death, from hell. It's literally a rescue mission. We have lost our knowledge of God. All of us come into this world, turn our focus on created things rather than the uncreated creator. We focus on things that we need to buy, to have and to hold rather than the one who created all those good things. The baby in the manger is a message from the other side, as it were. We might have forgotten what God is like, but he hadn't forgotten us. And so Jesus comes to show us what God is like in how we live and how he died. But we had forgotten what God was like. We had been lied to by evil spirits that our ancestors worshipped as gods. And they used the fear of death to enslave us more and more to a love of created things. We grab hold of the things that fade rather than the thing that lasts forever. And so God became one of us to show us what he was like, to defeat death by death. And in so doing, set us free from sin and death and those evil powers that had enslaved us. Jesus shows us what it is to be human, to live a life of love for the sake of the other. And Jesus shows us what it means to be God by the way he dies as a man in self-sacrificial love for others, because that's what God's like. That's how he's revealed himself to us, as a self-sacrificial lover of the other. And that's what each of us are called to, to live a life of love for the sake of others. And that's God's great present to us. He gives himself to you. What will you do with that gift?